Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Dr. Ronald Brett's reaction video, aka The Blue Rage. All right, what I got for you. It's a somber day today. For me, it's 1 a.m. in the morning, September 11th. And 21 years ago, we know what happened and stuff. So by the time I wake up, that anniversary will be going up. I'll be going to work tomorrow. All right. And um, when I was in Desert Storm, we always listened to this song here. But I think they played it like. I think it was on actually the radio, the loudspeaker. I can't remember how it came, but uh, AFI's radio. Maybe it was AFI's radio, whatever. Um, Armed Forces no, radio. And uh, they played this about noontime each time. No matter how frustrated we were arguing at each other, or whatever, the song quieted the whole um, um, section and stuff. It's not a vehicle and stuff, an armored vehicle, Humvee. With everything just gets quiet, right? And we listen to this song, all right? So, with no further ado, um, Lee Greenwood. God bless the USA. Let's go. It's just getting emotional stuff in my head and my brain is just going back uh, to Desert Storm and stuff. So, you know, um, so I served in a Desert Storm and my son served in Iraq. Yeah, he served in Iraq twice. Yeah, twice. I think he had deployed twice and then went to Turkey and stuff. And I'll put this on pause. Okay, I am back. I went and grabbed some family photos and stuff. I'll show that at the end of the reaction video, okay? That way I don't disrupt it, everything. All right, let's continue on. I'm going gonna, gonna to run it back. I'll rewind this back a little bit to keep the flow going, okay? Oh, it may have rewind itself back. We'll just go ahead and start again. All right, let's go. God bless the USA. No, I was wrong. Sorry, I was wrong. Let's go ahead.
the memories of going by and stuff like that, man. And they're showing the land, and I'm from New York City, got the New York background behind me and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, um, wow, yeah, this is really touching and stuff. The link will be down in the description, so that way if you want to play this fully with no interruption and cry by your computer or whatever, feel free to do so and stuff, man. I always take it back a little bit so you get that momentum going, you know, okay? So let me just back it up a little bit. All right, that's one of the things that people ask me to do. They say, hey, rather than stop and go, stop and go, take it back so that way they can get that, you know, that that movement going and stuff. Right, so what did I say I was going to do? I said I was going to show some of my family photos, my photos and stuff, and then we'll come back and talk about this. Uh, this is me there, Tech Sergeant Ronald W. Bradshaw, now Dr. Ronald Bradshaw. That's me. I retired in 1999. I served in Desert Storm, Desert Shield. Um, okay, well, Desert Shield, Desert Storm. Okay, and uh, yeah, I, I enlisted. I served in both Army and Air Force. I enlisted in the Army. Uh, 1977, went active duty 1978, right out of high school uh, to 81, then did the Air Force from 82 to 99. Uh, yeah, and I was security forces in the Air Force and field artillery in the Army. Uh, let me see, we gotta remove this. Let's see who's next, who's next in my family. Okay, oh, that's still me. Oh, what did I delete? Okay. Okay, let's go here. That's my brother, the older brother, Daryl. He served before me. I thought I had his military photo, but I can't find it. It's not on my computer. I searched my phone and everything. I took a pause, and I'm like, where did I put it? I looked through all my photos, but it's my beautiful brother. Rest in peace. He's buried in a military facility. There's my Uncle Leroy. He served in Korea. Um, back then, he passed away some time ago, but he's the Korean War vet. Uncle Leroy Bradshaw. Yeah. There's Scotty, my stepdad, common law dad, stepdad. He just passed away in his 90s. He's a World War II vet. Yeah. There's my grandfather, my mother's father, in World War II. Yeah, I think he'd been to Germany and Italy. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's my picture. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh... I got sort of turned around here. Hold on a second. Let me go back here. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Okay. There's my son, Angelo. There you go. There you go. There's my son, Angelo. He served two tours in Iraq. Right? And I think he was also served in Turkey. Okay. And yeah, let me see who else I got. Have some more. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, Angela might be it. Yeah. Oh, this is my grandfather's. Uh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. And that's by Johnny Bradshaw. That's his burial site there. World War II. So it's born 1916. Yeah, October 14th. And uh, that's him on a motorcycle. You saw him on a motorcycle there. Yeah, 
they buried there. So that's my family and stuff. So yeah, so it's always heartbreaking uh, to see what that's what happened in the United States. 9-11 is always hard for me. I went to, to the um, memorial um, two years ago. It took me 20 years to get there. I was on the 20th anniversary. That wasn't by like design. It just took me that long. I mean, I just okay, it's time to go there. And um, so I went and it's just something to see. It's, wow, real time. And tomorrow's Sunday. So sometimes when 9-11 falls on a weekend, they'll just show as if you're there. Because I was, I was in Qatar in the Middle East. I was working in the Middle East. I just retired, got a job over in the Middle East, and the commander's um, office computer was down, so I had to go f fix it. So I looked at the small, he had a small little TV, you know, back, back in that time, he had small TVs. And I go, man, that movie sucks, man. Those graphics are awful. He goes, no, somebody hit the bed, um, um, hit, uh, flew a plane, or a plane hit the building, not that they flew it in there. I'm like, man, that pilot sucks then. And how are you going to miss that big building? We didn't get it. He may have known. He may have known. But um, we didn't know. Um, and then I come back, fix the computer, bring the other parts back. And I'm like, both buildings are supposed to go. Yeah, another plane hit. I go, what's going on? I'm still baffled. You know, I had no idea what was going on because I was in the Middle East already. And then we find out later on what was going on after that, though. You know, but still, until you see it, like, you know, um, these real-life films and stuff, you don't see it and stuff. So, always a solemn day for me and stuff. So, all right. But um, I hope this brings you some type of connection, you know. You know, and um, we'll just take it from there. So, it's always a bad day for me. So, I'm going to go wake up in the morning and go to work. All right. And this will be posted up there. And I hope you guys um, enjoy the rest of your day. This is Dr. Ron. I'll catch you guys in the next video.